Aisha Motors Royal Enfield has been the undisputed king of premium bikes in India for the longest time. In fact, Enfield's strong positioning, affordability and dominance has been so strong that Harley Davidson which was pitched at the higher end announced an abrupt exit from India back in 2020. However, in an interesting turn of events, the bike maker has now come back stronger to eat into Royal Enfield's market share. Not just that, we have seen the entry of another formidable player in the market, Bajaj Triumph. What's more, both the biggies have priced the iconic brands aggressively to lure buyers, who till now have had limited options in this segment. So, the big question is, is Aisha Motors profit engine under threat as India's leading two-wheeler giants unleash a price war in the premium motorcycle segment? Well, keep watching this video to find out. But first, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the Money Control YouTube channel. Now, on 3rd July, Hero and Harley launched the Harley Davidson X440, which comes with a 440cc engine. Its peak torque and power are around 35 to 40% higher than Royal Enfield's Classic 350. The bike's starting price at 2,29,000 rupees is at a 15% premium to Enfield's Classic 350cc and Meteor 350cc bikes. After all, the segment is a juicy one with high margins. So everyone wants a piece of the pie. Now, analysts at Nomura believe that the 250cc market may have space for two to three players. The high gross margins of Royal Enfield at around 43%, that is 75,000 rupees per bike, make the segment attractive for new players. But as consumers get spoiled with more choices, it is bad news for the shareholders of Aisha Motors. Royal Enfield, which occupies 90% market share in the segment, with 7,35,000 units sold in India in FY23, now stands to lose some steam despite the market size growing. Clearly, uh, there's huge price wars around and you know this sort of pricing which we've seen uh, you know from uh, Bajaj for the Triumph it even undercuts their own uh, in-house uh, dominance. so really a very very aggressive pricing strategy uh, clearly they are very keen both uh, Harley and uh, Bajaj with Triumph and Hero with Harley are keen on you know making a dent in um, uh, Royal Enfield's market share uh, that's for sure and I think uh, I, I, I think for the first time, they are going to feel some competition. You know, with, with Royal Enfield, there is there's the classic 350, which has its you know own sort of cult following, and people who want that will just buy that. But then there's the rest of Royal Enfield. You know, you've got the Hunter, the Scram, Himalaya, and all these bikes also there. And those bikes will definitely feel the heat uh, of these uh, new launches uh, because really the pricing is fantastic, and even the product quality is, uh, from what we understand, is is pretty good. Experts say the premium bike segment is expected to grow at twice the rate of underlying two-wheeler market growth. So if the two-wheeler market is expected to grow at 6 to 7%, the premium bike market is likely to grow at 12 to 15% over the next uh, five years. Now for any player starting with zero market share, this is a lucrative opportunity. The same happened during the launch of Java and Honda premium bikes. The dent on Royal Enfield wasn't large, but they did eat into its market share. Moreover, Harley has always been an aspirational brand with models starting above 5 lakh rupees. But as it enters, uh, in fact, as it re enters the Indian markets with lower price points, the market share erosion for Enfield could be higher. According to Sridhar Prasad, consumer sector expert and ex partner KPMG, the new Harley Davidson model is targeting three categories. First, the bike lover looking for a swanky purchase. Second, the Royal Enfield bullet loyalists who can now upgrade to Harley by paying just a few thousand more. Third, those who have never driven a bike but are fascinated by the sleeker retro look. For Royal Enfield, which contributes 90% to Aisha Motors' bottom line, the threat is not only from Harley Davidson, but also from Crime's Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X. The Speed 400, a street naked motorcycle that takes styling inspiration from the bigger Street Twin 900, has been priced at an aggressive 2,33,000 rupees. The models are in partnership with Bajaj Auto. As far as Royal Enfield is concerned, you know, I say to people that uh, 
when the in the us when the uh, bank robber willie sutton was asked uh, why do you rob the bank uh, and he uh, said quite simply because that's where the money is you know so i would say to you that today between bajaj tvs um, uh, enfield and hero bajaj has about 50% share of the profit of the industry um, you know um, but there are two profit pools large profit pools outside uh, of this which have been elusive one is the splendor um, and one is the royal enfield so i think uh, with this brand uh, the consumer will give us the license to compete in in the space that uh, royal enfield has done so exceedingly well in i mean hats off to siddharth what he's achieved um, and hopefully we can make some impact there but can they really do it well i i definitely think uh, you know uh, as uh, uh, rajiv bajaj in his own style has rightly said uh, you know it is uh, it is it's really a cash cow in a cash cow for them uh, you know because really the margins are huge on on these sort of bikes which is a technology and what they price it at uh, so i think uh, uh, Yes, I, I think they could pose a strong threat uh, to uh, uh, Royal Enfield, as I said earlier. But don't forget, Royal Enfield also there's a certain cult following about it. It's 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 all about a community, uh, you know, especially with the with the classic and you know with the the, the traditional uh, Royal Enfield buyers, which is it's not just the product; it's also the whole ecosystem and the community uh, and the emotion which comes with uh, uh, you know the Ari. Uh, which is takes much longer to crack, uh, but I think definitely uh, you know these bikes are going to make some inroads for sure. Five years back, Bajaj had trolled Enfield with a series of Hathi Mat Palo ads in which Enfield was compared to an elephant. Now that was done to promote Bajaj's Domino 400 bikes, which failed to make a mark while the elephant stood strong. If Prime bikes are able to create a brand perception in the affordable aspiration segment. it will be a huge win for bajaj why because bajaj has constantly tried to grow by breaking into high powered categories <music> meanwhile royal enfield is also staring at competition from the relaunches of bajaj's pulsar and hero's charisma brands both are expected to sport around 200 cc engines now in this highly competitive environment analysts believe the valuation premium commanded by aisha motors over hero motor corp and bajaj auto is slightly unjustified there would be clear margin pressure because today uh, i mean a buyer has a decent amount of choice and uh, because of which uh, we could see even then uh, like uh, numbers being hit so i will not be surprised if he sees i mean a further cut in i share uh, share price and uh, and in fact i'm i'm uh, like uh, uh, i'm looking at a price which is possibly below 3000 So even at these levels, I would suggest that if one is holding Aisha, it's be time to book out. Both stocks, Hero Moto and Bajaj Auto, have zoomed in trade soon after unveiling their new launches. In contrast, shares of Aisha Motors have taken a turn for the worse. In May, Motilal Oswal Financial Services had valued Aisha Motors at 24.5 times one-year forward earnings per share. Now this has now contracted to 23.8 times. Meanwhile, Hero Moto, which was valued at 15 times, is now commanding. 16 times one year forward p clearly it's exciting times ahead for two wheeler lovers for aisha motor shareholders maybe not so much for more such videos keep following money control